Lion King and a big game for Creighton basketball will draw crowds to downtown Omaha. Just be careful to read the signs if you use a private parking lot. Mike McKnight shows us how the wrong time and place can cause an expensive shock when you're ready to leave. At Six on Your Side investigates. A fun turned frustrating weekend didn't end until Monday morning for owners of vehicles towed from some private lots in downtown Omaha. So we figured it was okay because there was other people parked there and they were getting in their cars and leaving. And then we got dead and our car was gone. Most of the vehicles towed from a lot near 9th and Capitol where the sign says event parking. We weren't trying to not pay. We wanted to pay, but there wasn't, you know, there wasn't anyone there. Parkers are warned if no attendant is on duty to collect their money, then do not park in the lot. Towing, how can I help you? Judging by constant phone calls to the if you're towed number, many vehicle owners didn't heed the posted warning that's enforced by tow pros and Heartland towing owner Joe Livingston. Read, Read the, the signs. If you can't pay, don't park there. If you can't pay to park on a lot, don't park there. Is it confusing down there? I don't think so. And Livingston says he follows the law to the letter, charging a $150 tow fee, $25 administrative fee, plus taxes. He's allowed to only accept cash, but must provide a receipt, which the city attorney had hooked up to the ordinance. People who have their cars towed should always ask for a receipt so that they can make sure that they were charged appropriately under the ordinance for what tow companies are allowed to charge for. And if not, that could form the basis of evidence in a criminal case for unlawful tow fees. The law allows $15 a day for storage, but Livingston says like all tow truck owners, he can't charge that fee when his lot is closed. For tow pros, that's from Friday after 3 p.m. to Monday at 10 a.m. And for some of these owners, it's not just about being without a vehicle from Friday to, say, Monday morning, but also what are inside those cars that they might need over the weekend. For this couple, it's their car seat base their five-month-old needs to ride. We've had to try and figure out how to keep her stable in her other car with no car seat base. Another couple from Missouri spent an extra day in Omaha until they could get their car Monday morning. Another $140 for our hotel. We both got jobs. I mean, <laughs> we're not going to be out of the day. So several say the lot should be open any day there are tows. If they're going to tow 24-7, they ought to be open 24-7. It's a lesson learned, but not giving anybody grace till Monday. But Livingston says the lot is open five hours a day, five days a week. And with towing at night, he closes on weekends. I have to have a life. I work Monday through Friday. I run the trucks at night. If I'm running a truck, I can't release a car. The more important thing is to take care of people's lots. They want their lots cleared from people parked illegally. Weekend tows don't require weekend returns. We're not able to impose those type of restrictions on it, and it wouldn't be something that we could put in an ordinance. It would be just like us telling a restaurant that they have to be open on certain days of the week. So if you go downtown this weekend for Capital District Nightlife or Lion King at the Orpheum, expired or unpaid private parking could lead to a lot of waiting to yours? get your car back. On your side near 66th and Grover, Mike McKnight, 6 News. So underscoring this, if you're headed out, look for parking signs in private lots and read them carefully. Many private lots have a kiosk after paying. Put the receipt where it can be seen on your dash. And don't assume if the machine isn't working or there's no attendant present that you are free to park there. It could be a costly mistake.